Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text tied into an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the 14th Sunday after Pentecost, the Revised Common Lectionary, and we are looking at specifically the Ephesians text about putting on the armor of God. And a couple of things looking at it this time that kind of struck me new was we need help to put on the armor of God. When you go back to where someone was putting on armor, um, there were pieces of the armor that they could not put on themselves. They would need uh, armor. I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm going back to, you know, we can go Roman times, you can go uh, uh, medieval times, but you know that the image of, an ar of someone in armor is that um, there are pieces of the armor that you need help with. And so, Looking at that, looking at the, the, what makes up the armor of God, all of these pieces, they're gifts. They're gifts that have been given to us. They're stuff that, that we didn't have, we're not, responsible, we're not responsible for getting, yet they're given to us. And so all of this has to do with um, needing help, needing God's grace, needing God to reach out, needing others to help us in this endeavor of our Christian life. And so the idea that we can do this all by ourselves. Well, if I just put on the armor all by myself, I could do this. It doesn't work that way. Um, the, the armor of God calls for us to be um, in a community of faith, in people that are around us to help us um, equip ourselves as we um, go out into this world. So I, the idea is to uh, to talk about something you have a hard time with, um, something that you've been helped with. Um, it could be a puzzle you're trying to figure out, maybe a brain teaser, you're trying to figure out a puzzle that you just can't figure out. Maybe the kids, you bring the kids in to help do this. Talk about a riddle that you can't figure out. Um, there's multiple ways that we can look at that um, we need each other's help. What, and so, so I'm looking at you know either a puzzle, either something that um, I need help figuring out, and I don't want necessarily want to make it um, fake. You know, I mean, we could easily say, "Oh, I cannot figure out where this piece of puzzle goes," and have the kids help. That's a possibility, but the kids can see through that. So one of the ideas, as I was talking about, is the power of this of raising your hand, a power of the question, a power of saying, I don't understand. Sometimes we are so scared to admit that I don't get it, that I'm wondering. I, I'm, I have a question about, I have a question about God. I have a question about uh, the church. I have a question about life. I have a question about how do I tie my shoes the questions, asking questions of one another, um, lead to a deeper faith, which I think gets into the gospel lesson some more, um, but that when we ask questions, when we call each other in, and when we say, will you help me? I need your help. Can you, can you help me with this question? Uh, the Lutheran musician, which is, he's making a, a move career-wise, going to seminary. Congratulations, Jonathan Rudman. Um, but he has a song in one of his albums that says, If you have a question, just raise your hand. And that image of, of raising your hand, of saying, all right, I have a question. This is a powerful thing. Um, perhaps when we're, when we're lifting our hands up in praise and prayer, it's also lifting our hands up as a question. I don't get it. Help me. Um, so some directions to go in there, but I'm, I'm working on the idea of, of pulling in the community that, that we can't do this faith by ourselves. We're not called to do this faith by ourselves. We're called to walk in community. When Christ says two or three, when you're gathered in my name, I am present there. And so um, we are called together to be the body of Christ. And in that, we help one another put on the armor. And then maybe as the body of Christ, the whole armor doesn't go on me, but goes on the entire body. Um, that, uh, that maybe someone in the community has the gift of, um, you know, puts on the helmet. The other person puts on the breastplate. The other person puts on you know, your feet. And uh, yeah, anyway, you get it. 
I hope this can be a, a springboard for your own thinking around your children's sermon. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fantastic week.